Let's try that. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Yeah, there we go. Hey, Victoria. How's it going? Turtle Club, good morning to you. Um, it helps when I you know, put the mic down after I sneeze. So I am I am a, I'm 99% certain <laughs> that this is going to be the last stream for this series. And it's kind of bittersweet, right? I mean, once we're done with it, uh, we'll be able to put it in our rankings. I can say, without a shadow of a doubt, and we knew that going into this, that this is not the worst Zelda I've ever played. Um, it's not even the second word. Hey, Fruits, how's it going? Well, thank you, ma'am. Uh, Digrat wanted to know what I would look like with a man bun. Um, so it's been growing long. Uh, ever since No Shave November, we started growing it out. And... Boy, howdy. It's it's warm. It's the second, third, yeah, third time in my life I've grown it out. Um, when I was in high school, not many people would know this at all, but I had it about mid-back. And I, I didn't really, every good thing has it in. This is, this is true, DB. This is true. I, uh, you know, we wish it weren't so, right? And it, uh, again, it's bittersweet. I, for one, I'm I'm not as sad to see this one go as some of the other ones we've played, and I I know that that offends some of you guys because your top list has this a lot higher than mine, but I would have to say that it's it's not in my top five, uh, but it's in my next five. So, and I, I gotta admit the. Uh, the thing that's kind of put it into that next five was that boss fight we had yesterday when the 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 Bokoblin lord talked to us that was that was unexpected um uh, would you ever play a 3ds uh victoria unfortunately not so 3ds games there's only two ways you can stream those and both of them are heavily against nintendo um, permissions so the first thing you can do to stream a 3ds game is you can actually take a 3ds and you can modify the hardware and modifying the hardware when you do so nintendo gets really 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 not so happy with that um, and the reason why you have to modify the hardware is you actually have to install a usb capture card on oh it helps if i actually lock on to the thing first right and then throw, duh. Uh, so that's the first way that you can stream a 3DS game. Now, you may get lucky and find one that's like on an eShop. The story is what you like the best. The story's pretty good, Drew. I I gotta admit, it's pretty good. It's a nice throwback to several other Zeldas. The fights have been okay. Um, there, there's a few things that make me... I haven't figured this room out yet. And that's kind of irking me a little. I feel like we should have already figured this room out. I, I feel like we're a failure for that. Um, can we bash those off? But so the, the first thing I, I kind of... I am all over the place this morning, guys. The first thing I want to point out is the death counter. Um, I... So we can't destroy the shields. There's got to be something we've missed in this room because it's very suspicious. Very suspicious. But the death counter, we're at six. Um, Breath of the Wild, we were, you know, <laughs> a lot more than six. And Majora's Mask, a lot more than six. Wind Waker, we were at more than six. I, I would dare say that this particular version of Zelda did not really provide us a huge challenge on the traditional game over sense. So it's locked on one side, it's locked on the other side. Is it locked on the third side? Let's, let's go and check that third door, because maybe not. Maybe we just go in there and we just get creamed by whatever's in this room. I really want to know what's in the room. 
got to I'm having a what's in the box moment, guys, and we got to go check it out. But so so the, the challenge, you know, there's been some challenging things, but I I would I would present that they're not so much challenging things as they've just been like ridiculous things, right? Like the 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 mini games have just wrecked us in this one. So if I get up there, how So maybe I Spider-Man my way over from the other room. That's kind of interesting. But so, um, there, the mini games kind of really did us in. The, the main bosses and all really had it. And that's, I don't know. You know, I, um, and there's, there's an argument to be made that maybe I just got better, you know, um, maybe I just got better at playing Zelda, and that's, that's an argument that can be made, so that room to that room, I think that's how we're going to have to go about it, because I don't think we actually, hmm, yeah, the hookshot game was cool. Uh, once I got the double hookshot, that game was easy. <laughs> that game became silly, silly easy. Uh, much to the chagrin of the guy who actually ran that particular game, right? Um, but for the most part, like the snowboarding, I, I have to say that was just not really well implemented. Um... And here, here's the thing, right, is 1080 snowboarding was a real thing that existed on the Nintendo console. And that was a really good uh, snowboarding game. So you can't really say, well, uh, you know, that you can't really fault that one, Mag. Well, yeah, I can and I will. Um, and then the, the boat minigame that we did yesterday, right, Wave Racer, was another Nintendo franchise. So it's not like Nintendo did not have the capabilities to do these. Well, that too, that too. Hey, thank you, Sue. I mean, the motion controls, I, let, me, let me tell you guys, there, there were a couple of streams that after the stream was over, I was like, okay, well, it's time to get some, uh, some naproxen sodium or some ibuprofen or something. Oh, it helps if I actually equip the hook shot to hook on the things, right? So go down, uh, go here. Lower... Really? What is up with this? Because we've been there before. I know we've been there before. That's how we got the, because that's the switch that we use. Hmm. Uh, Fruits in Space. I, I do make videos occasionally, but I'm only a part-time streamer. I have a full-time job. I have a family. I have other things that I do with my time other than stream. And other than make, you know, any kind of content. And making content videos, so here's here's the thing, right? I, I've, I will do like one shot, like record myself for an hour. But if you're thinking about stuff like what Ryu Car does, and um, trying to think of anybody else I've been watching lately, or Dashi, or, or any of those other streamers out there that actually are, you know, uploading content, um... That takes a very long time to produce. I can't figure that room out yet, guys. Maybe there's something I gotta do later. Um, and so I looked into it. I poked around for a few people, and like to make a, a one-hour-long video, you actually record for about three hours, and then you do edits for about an hour. 
and that's cool for people that have like you know four hours to to make an hour-long video i'm not that guy <laughs> i wish i was you know but i just not now i have thought about doing some stuff for the the arc like a mod highlight type thing and i started working on one and it was like filtered down it was like 20 minutes of content after i've been working on it for like two and a half hours trying to figure everything out and it just uh it doesn't seem to be i don't want to say worth it but I'm, I'm doing this for fun and that just becomes way too much like work <laughs> if i was a if i was a full-time streamer i mean if i you know yeah it, it does it does all right, so we came all the way up to this room. We fought the good fight. We had all the guys jump in. I still don't know how we get in there, which is going to drive me slightly crazy. We've already been in there. Let, let's check here to make sure that we didn't miss like another ladder or something. Huh, okay. Oh, here's the thought mag. What's the... Maybe we fall through the floor there? On the fourth floor? That could happen. But yeah, it takes a lot of free time. And it takes someone with better video editing skills than what I've got, too. Uh, there was a, a streamer that I used to follow uh, who unfortunately passed away earlier this year. Really awesome guy. Uh, Master Sergeant Porkins. And he and his wife were a really awesome duo she is a professional video editor oh here we go transform into wolf mode do the senses bash all these guys whoa well hello mr ghost anything i'm missing first nope And so this also goes back to what we were talking about, guys. So the first thing that they did in this room was they immediately had me attacked by rats. And I'm sure that if we had jumped anywhere on these things by accident, we would have Indiana Jones this whole entire thing down. And so, again, we're, we're looking at an easier... Um, puzzling type Zelda. That was weird. Alright, we're stuck in again. Okay, cool. Whatever. Hmm. And we're... There's our heart. Whoa, okay. Now that, that was me just being blind and stupid. Back to human mode. Is this going to be one of those Minda help me out things? No. then talk to Minda There's 
line it up and go straight. Yep, so that, that definitely... Hey, Relaxing Fun and Gaming, how's it going? If you guys don't know who RFG is, Relaxing Fun and Gaming, she does some really awesome stuff. Always got the lineup link. Yeah, yeah. He, uh... We're in a puzzle room that we're not 100% sure where the puzzle goes yet. But we're working on figuring out. But definitely, definitely check her out. She does a really cool uh, Stardew Valley stuff and multiplayer. She also uh, does some really cool crafting videos. I uh, always like to just kind of chill with those a bit. I haven't seen one of them in a while, though, but, you know, life kind of happens well. Everything else gets in the way. Hmm. Kind of feel like I know it's not going to be the hook shot. It, it's we haven't had the. Uh, The, the spin top be used at all in this dungeon. Oh, there we go. Sneaky with the, the torch sconce wall things. And we get trapped again. We knock one of these guys down. They're both out. Hey, speaking of spinny top. Bam. Oh, no problem at all, RFG. I, I really do enjoy and dig the content. Oh. Thud. There we go. Splat. <laughs> hey, Link. I hope you like falling to your death. All right. Let's do this. What? I'm pushing the wrong button. Okay. Let, let's let's turn away from death and destruction for a second. And let's hit this button. Yeah, it's it's the it's the B button, not the A button. All right. And we'll be right back. See, this is above the room that we think we need to drop down into. Is this a... Uh... Oh, it's just an Armos or a Dark Knight? Okay. We're not too worried about that either. Oh, it's kind of tight quarters. We're sort of worried about that. He's down. Oh, it took us for a couple hearts. Eh, this is a treasure room. I mean, look at all of these treasure chests, guys. And I'm hoping there's, like, stuff. I mean, that's the only, you know, words for it, right? Is stuff. Man, how do we get into that other room? Like, look at this. 
play this on the GameCube and Wii U. How do you like the Wii controls? Um, yeah, I was telling everybody earlier a little bit. Um, I, I, I don't care for them as much. And the reason why is, after doing this a whole lot, my wrist gets a little sore after the whole entire stream happens. Hey, it's a silver rupee that we can't use. Don't worry, we'll be able to use you in a little bit, silver. Hey, it's bombs! Sweet! We got more bombs. Just what we need to do. Blow up the world. Purple rupee, that will go not in the wallet either, so... So we'll wait for the purple rupee. We'll get it first. I guess we'll go through and kick open these, because these are all going to be like... Yeah. Green rupee, hey! More arrows! Sweet! But yeah, some of the controls aren't too bad. But some of them are pretty horrendous. I really hate where I have to do the, the point the controller at the screen in just the right way for it to register sometimes. And it doesn't help that I'm like three feet away from my small monitor that I'm playing on. I say small, it's like a 27 inch. We will get every last treasure chest. And apparently every single color of rupee. So if you're a completionist like I am and you haven't been marking your, your rupees the whole entire time, that's actually pretty awesome. Yeah, you know, I, I could see that. Uh, I've not played Skyward Sword yet. I've heard really good things about it and really bad things about it. I've heard some streamers like uh, Epic Potato Chip. He was like, I really wish at the very least they had the same um, motion controls as Twilight Princess. Which makes me cringe a little bit. Um, Alright, so we got two more chests left. Yeah, yeah. I, I like the immersion that they offer, you know, but I, I don't quite care for when it goes wrong. All right, guys. So let's just kind of... Oh, our, wow. It doesn't even... Our map doesn't even tick down. So there's one room we haven't been in yet. Hmm... I've been told it was a good story. I've seen, like, a combined total of, like, seven minutes of it, just to stop in people's streams and say hello and whatnot. Uh, fruits, it all depends upon the next two weeks coming. Um, I've been working on Clarence Bot underneath the hood, so he's been down, so everybody's not been able to get their recommendations in. So, once we beat this game, Clarence is going to be up for a week which will give everybody a week to get the recommendations in. And then starting next Saturday, because I'm pretty sure we're going to beat this. Um, I've actually set this stream up to where we will beat it today. Um, but starting next Saturday, everyone who's in our Discord will be able to vote, and they'll be able to pick whatever game they want. You don't like some of the motion control shrines in Breath of the Wild? A lot of people did not care for motion control shrines in Breath of the Wild. I was okay with them for the most part. Uh, like the golf one, like there's one golf one that was just disgusting. All right, stop. This last chest. Silver rupee. Okay. The fact that there's one room we haven't been in yet. I I hope that we're gonna get like a story swerve or some jazz like that. Um. All in all, though, let's let's uh, remember the right button. Save our game. Save our game. Save our game. We are going to continue playing. And we're saving our game right here, right now, in case this doesn't get us in that room somehow, and we have to reload. Here comes the fun. I, uh... Okay, this looks suspiciously like a final boss room. Very suspicious like a final boss room. 
And I haven't been able to get into that one room yet. Why have I not been able to get into that one room? Can I exit? Nope. Okay. Well, fiddlesticks. Um... We don't have a map, so we know this is a boss. This is very Breath of the Wild-esque. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Oh, there's Midna. We never found Zelda. Oh, there's Zelda, so she wasn't trapped in the room. So what's in the room, guys? I... I'm failing. We've not gotten to one room. Welcome to my castle. She seems a little pale. Yeah, a little bit on the, the sun bleach side, right? Ganondorf looks like a, a, a dark-toned leprechaun. I'm just going to say that. I mean, look at him. He, he looks like a real tall, dark-toned leprechaun. I think it's the... I think it's the, the red dreads and beard and all. We stole the gold. He, hey, he stole three pieces of gold, right? Or well, two at the moment. His red hair in 20 years. Yeah, I know, right? Rather tall for a leprechaun, though. Oh, Sue, that would be horrible. Because I, you know, he's also the, the pig demon, right? So I'm, I'm imagining that he probably smells a little bit. So that would be really bad just to be in close proximity for a while. You and your little friend. Well, I don't know about you guys, but I've been following the story pretty closely while we've been doing this, and we really don't know Princess Zelda, right? I mean, Midna knows Princess Zelda. But, uh, I only talked to her for a little bit. I, I got invited to her house for some snacks, and, whoa, wait a second. She looks like she's getting corrupted. Okay. Oh, it's a barrier. <laughs> the king of light and shadow. Okay, screen went dark. Either the game froze or we're we're playing now. All right. Um cool. All right. So that's a nope. Yeah, that's a big wall we just get out of the way. Okay, that's not good. Okay, so immune to wind. Oh, it's that. Okay. Come on, Nintendo. Can I block it? Yes, I can. Okay. So, let's do that then. Let's try that. That kind of works. It's kind of safe also. 
Oh, it's Princess Zelda. Are you chicken? Are you fear to me? Okay, that looks like it should have hit. Hat, we tennis. What's up with Minda? Thanks for the hint. I was trying not to have the time hitting it with a sword. But I guess I have to. Alright. Wow. Oh no, 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 no. Ouch. That burned. Zelda, come on. I'm trying to save you. Here, let me save you with my sword. Just gonna put the pointy in inside you for a second. Whoa! That was rather rude. Easy to block, but still rather rude. Come on, so we got several different attack patterns, it looks like. Okay. Nope, nope, nope. Ouch. Yeah, that's 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 a bummer. With me playing defensive here, it's it's a problem. I feel like I should be able to like parry that or just smack her while she's in mid-flight. All right, well thanks RFG for hanging out, really appreciate it. And guys, check the content out, real cool, real laid back stuff. Uh, maybe I can shoot it with the uh, when it's getting all electrified. Um, out of the way. Be sure to like the stream. Oh, thanks, RFG. Really appreciate that. So I can... I can... I can dodge? I can block? There's, like, nothing to do during that. Okay, she was not impressed with the slingshot in the dress. Okay. Ow. Ow. That was me trying to get the sword out, and it didn't work, and then she electrified me, and... Oh. So maybe she's just a distraction while Ganon gets all the money? So what's going on? Ah. That swing swing is just too tough sometimes. Alright, so no hits afterwards to be expected. Just electrify Electrify the princess we're trying to save. That makes a lot of sense, Nintendo. We hurt the ones we love, right? Oh, Minda, the last time you put on this power armor, it did not work well out for you at all. Boom. Okay, now what's going on? Is Minda corrupted now? Is that what's going on? Nope. Okay, Minda's behind me. Acting like she's eating crackers and owns the place now. Alright.
Okay. So is this Ganon? In pig demon form? Dark Beast Ganon. Okay. I feel like I need some light arrows and an adult. Oh. Wow. Um... What just happened? Are we playing Picador? Oh, we sure are. All right. Um, got any advice? Yeah, don't get hit. Okay. So I don't get to like lock onto him or anything. Okay, so that wasn't it. Um That wasn't it either. Okay. So, what am I missing? Oh, there we go. All right. What? Alright, at least we, we kinda got the we kinda got the idea. We look for the blue portal. We shoot him in the head. Now what, Midna? Thank you for that. The the glowing spot on his body is where he's weak, guys. Wow, we're going to have to get better at dodging. Alright, and we're going around circles. And the days go by again and walks around. Whoa! We did not see that coming. Stop it. That was rather rude and mean. Alright, now we got portals again. We can deal with portals. Alright, come on. Come on. Ah! Oh. And you can grab him by the horns and flip him. Uh, interesting to know fruits. Uh, we, we appreciate the hint, but we're not really looking for backseat gaming at the moment. It is cool that they actually gave you a wolf form mode, though. I never would have tried it, because I just don't like wolf form that much. What kind of noise is that? Hmm. Well, 
Like the wolf form for trap. Yeah, for travel, sure. For teleportation, cool. Um, for story-ish kind of stuff, why not? <laughs> now what, Minna? Now what? Okay. That makes me sad. The game is making me... Is forcing me... To use wolf mode. Okay. So... I think I know how we do this. Nope. The game heard me. Yeah, the game's like, Mag doesn't like wolf mode, so you know what we're going to do? That's right. He's going to have to use wolf mode. And what am I doing wrong with wolf mode, I guess? I mean, I could... Hmm... Right. Okay. Maybe I'll pull off senses and see what happens. Nope, that's not it either. All right. Um. Yeah, I am getting hurt up in a bad way. Fortunately, we got plenty of fairies. I mean, we have this attack, we have this attack. And we got that attack. That's about it. Interesting. Kenny, how's it going, buddy? Glad to see you, man. If you guys don't know Kenny the Neo Kid, he is an awesome streamer from Canada. Does some really cool stuff. Um, very eclectic with what he streams, but does do a considerable amount of Mario Maker. One of the reasons why I watch him. I'm not good at Mario Maker, but I like watching people that are. Uh, not a family-friendly streamer, but but still good to watch. Okay. Uh, let's start kind of quick tap. Not holding it down. Well, I I am doing the the quick tap. I I think you are. I think you are lurking. Hey, Indigo, how's it going? All right. So let's uh let's go back to human mode. So we can actually quickly start popping up some of these. Oh, there's a fairy in that one? Oh, there's fairies in these bottles. Uh, not all of them, apparently. Hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm guessing as well. Yeah, it's... It's not working out for me at the moment, but he definitely doesn't like bomb arrows. He just can't seem to hit him. Interesting, his hitbox extends. That was not a fairy. Maybe we need to charge up the attack. Yeah, it's not doing it. 
can we can we sidestep while charging the attack? We can't either. So what are we? We don't have a scent that we can get either. Okay. So we tried sidestepping, that doesn't work either. Alright. So we just... Well, there's a prompt. Okay, I haven't been seeing it, but I am. What's the prompt? Oh, push. Oh, wow. Okay. It's like quick time then. One second. I know how I can see what the actual prompt is. The magic of stream delay. Let's see what that prompt says. Oh, prompt says I got bowled over like a bowling ball. All right, let's try that again. What's the prompt say? Come on. All right, it says push. All right. All right, so let's try this one more time. So I push A, and it doesn't do anything. All right. There we go. All right, so uh, uh, yeah, yeah, it's it's like it's like the sumo wrestling. That's that's good to discover at five and a quarter hearts. Okay, so the throw thing's not working now. That's great. That's fine. We'll figure that out. Oh, okay. Wow. Wow, that's... That is finicky as snot, guys. Could be my old trusty nunchuck. Whoa, okay. So now we're getting really aggressive. Okay. Mm, kind of neat. Looks like he's bleeding out energy. That usually means we need to turn around and walk away slowly while he explodes behind us, right? Maybe not. That can't be the end. There's that room that's locked. That's going to drive me nuts. 
It's going to drive me nuts. Oh my gosh, we're going to reload the game after we beat the whole thing, guys. After we get the credits and everything. And then we're going to go and try to figure out the mystery of the room. Uh-oh. Evil's back. There goes Midna suiting up again. Poor auger drill right in the middle of Ganon's body there. Did they put the blow up Castle Hyrule. Clearly, this is one of the bad timelines. Hunting games, not really, Mr. Honeycomb. Um, I played a couple. Okay. That's cool. Um, I used to play, like in the 90s, there was a hunting game that was pretty good. It kind of, it kind of feels like, Kenny, I mean, you completely destroy Hyrule Castle. It just, choose a hero, what? Is this like Ultimate Picador? Is that what's going on? Or no, she said chosen hero. Okay. Wait, what? This is not looking good. Ouch. Come on, opponents. Let me back. This is like... This is like the ultimate torture, guys. So you know what we're going to do? We're going to actually make Mag have to be on a horse for the final boss fight. What is up with that? Breath of the Wild did the same thing to me. I wasn't really too keen on that then. Yeah. 
A link to the past is, yeah. I know. Which is unfortunate because Link to the Past is one of my favorite games. It's in my top five. Uh, let's um, let's get wrecked. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm not a I'm not a fan of the horseback riding in all the Zelda games, Kenny. It just I'm uh, I'm not good at them. Oh wait a second. Can can this work? So wrecked by his attacks. That's okay though. Get back on the horse. That's kind of cool to know. Zelda needs better aim. I don't know if I if I actually drove a horse better. Okay, let's just bust through. Ah, that wasn't it either. Um, I don't know how auto fairies work on the back of a horse, so we're not going to chance that auto fairies don't work on the back of a horse. Oh my god, no, she does not link links, links crossbow training. Oh my god. That was all mine. Okay, there we go. That worked. So swinging the nunchuck like an idiot just works. Come on, Zelda. I can only hold the controller steady for so long. Stab him, stab him, stab him, get him. Shoot him again. No. Don't let him dodge. Alright. Pardon me, sir. Do you know how fast you're going? There we go. Now he has an idea how fast he's going. Give Ken the speeding ticket. I am. I'm going to pull him over. License and registrations, please, sir. Is that a golden triangle? Are you trying to bribe me? That ain't gonna work. But what's in the room? There's a room we wasn't able to get into. <laughs> this is not my final form. Since they blew up the castle, I mean, it's like... Okay. So wait a second. I know how these fights go. Ha! 
Okay, he's not distracted by the bottle, guys. Um, no. Okay, if he's not distracted by the bottle, then maybe by slingshots. Slingshot, slingshot. Nope, not distracted by a slingshot. Lantern. Uh, fish rod? Uh, you know, that's a possibility. Definitely not the lantern. Uh, good time to put on money armor? Yeah, probably is. Um, fishing rod. Oh, he kind of is. Oh, that's interesting. He is! Guys, check it out. He, he is so distracted by the fishing rod. Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. Okay. And let's go ahead and... Put that on as well. Go fishing, Ganon. Go fishing. Ganon likes some salmon. Freshwater salmon, Ganon. Oh, is that just a fairy? Sure is. Just a fairy because... He has... It's like the Ocarina of Time... Uh, battle where he gets distracted by the bottle. I think he's just not even sure what to think about the fact that we're using a fishing rod against him. I don't know if it's actually doing anything other than other than just making him wig out though. That is too funny. That is too funny. Okay. That's enough of that though. We, 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 we don't want to kill Ganon the the cheesy way. Stuff like that gets put in for Nintendo developers to be able to fight bosses. I was hoping for something that was a little bit easier or harder than a Dark Knight fight, but... Most of the hits are because I've bounced off the wall. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. Ooh, fish. Ooh, piece of candy. Oh, there you go. There you go. Fishing's just an awesome thing to be distracted by. But, uh... Now he kind of looks like the Muppet Dr. Teeth. Thanks for the GG's, guys. He's got the Master Sword impelled through him. If you don't pull it out... <laughs> You might be okay. Hey, Paya! Thanks for popping in. Do not think this ends here. All right. Oh, wow. That's that's just too much. I can't unsee that now.
interesting. Just posted a picture of Ganondorf in the in the Discord, guys. <laughs> right on times again and being defeated. Yeah, if you had to come in at a particular time, the the moment that we actually finally beat Ganon's pretty good. Oh, there's the there's the light beasts. I guess they want their bow back. Here comes Midna. His face when he curses the heroes looks like the the rabbit thing. Oh, it's that's that is true. That is true. It's cool that I'm doing the cutscene in the uh, the magic armor. Wait, what? Oh, well, now. Mid is all awesome looking. Like, she was awesome looking the whole entire time, but now she's, like, tall and all oracle-y looking. Like, Sheikah Slate glowing runes kind of stuff. And there's the credits, guys. Um, there's one room we didn't get into. That, nah, I don't think we'd do that. She can jump in the shadow anytime. Oh, Sue. You know, that's a pretty cool mechanic they had. Got the applause going there. A P P L A U S E. Uh, I don't know, Victoria. The moment Link saw Midna, Link ran straight to Midna. Ah, uh, true. Had to wait till I began. Oh well, Sue, thank you for that. My, I'm sure your 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 puppers may have been like spitting my name, but ah, there we go. The Gore and Sumo Wrestling. But the room has all the pose and the highly and low, and easy roll goal finishes. Oh my gosh. It, it, it might, Drew. I just looked it up. Okay. So, there's the east path and the west path on top stairs. And the other one's inaccessible if you use the other one. So, okay. We're good. We're, we're good. 
Oh, that was driving me nuts. It's driving me nuts. I was like, no. We have to 100% it. Wait a second. What's Malo doing out and about? Malo's got a business to run. Hmm. I do love the way credits always go in Zelda games. They're always epic. Super awesome. Are they just moving back home? I mean, how can you do that? Those kids have been through so much, right? They've grown up. Oh, there's the fishing family and the, the boat family. Oh, that was one of the coolest dungeons in the whole game. The snow castle was really awesome, I thought. I thought that was a really well done way to implement it. Bum, 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 bum. I, I don't know if that's a good thing to see people like just chilling outside the temple of time. Motion capture, that's kind of cool. I never really think about mocap being used for Zelda. That's nifty. I do kind of hope for a percentage to show up just to kind of like, oh, that's right. That's the lady's baby that we saved at the beginning with the, uh, with the hawk thing. Man, guys, just shy of 80 hours. Like, 79 hours and 15 minutes of gameplay. What would it be if Mag did 99.9%? I I don't know, Kenny. Um, I don't know what we would have missed. Because we... We got everything. Even like an 11th hour bomb upgrade. That we didn't even know existed in the game until I was like... I wonder how many bomb bags there are, because we only have two. And then, lo and behold, we're missing one. Uh, ground of the Arbiters. Sweet. And we went to all the dungeons and made sure all the chests were empty. So, we got all those. Mag Rage? Ah, nah, nah. You'd round up for me? <laughs> Oh, Drew, you're, you're kind, sir, but we, we wouldn't. We wouldn't. We didn't round up for Breath of the Wild. We won't round up for this. Our Kirby games. Uh, Breath of the Wild shows you one. But yeah. Yeah. So the Princess of Light and the Princess of Shadow. Okay. 
Interesting. Hello, can she about to destroy the mirror? Yep, she sure is. You need to jump through that portal real quick because going through mirror tunnels doesn't work out so well in the magicians when the mirror breaks. Bye bye, Bidna. No more telling me what to do. I mean, I'll miss you. Anybody got any super glue? Link seems a little torn up about that. be a lot of super glue and it really wouldn't work because you know mirrors are made out of silver and glass that was a pretty cool game though um oh more credits okay like they did the avengers thing in the marvel universe thing you know credits and then cutscene more credits Does it do the Nintendo 64 thing? Not let us continue on, though. Hmm. Mm hmm. Hmm. I, uh. Yeah, Minda's gone for good, guys. Until she's not right. I mean, this is a fantasy game we're talking about, so. So where do I rank this? Wow. Oh. So Ocarina, Breath of the Wild, Zelda 3. Wind Waker, Link's Awakening, uh, yeah, Zelda 3, A Link to the Past, yeah, Zelda 3, hey, Nicholas Zimmerman, welcome to the stream, we're about to sign off in a little bit, so... So my my ordering for main console Zeldas or all Zeldas in general, yeah, is Ocarina number one, and then we go to Breath of the Wild number two, Link to the Past number three, yeah, Wind Waker four, Link's Awakening five. I would put this six. And then Oracle of Ages and Seasons. Actually, Seasons and Ages. Then Majora's Mask. And then Zelda 2. So out of the uh, all the games that I've played Zelda wise, that would be the, the top ten. So Minish I've not played Minish Cap or Spirit Tracks, um, or Phantom Hourglass. A lot of my Zelda gameplay on the on the portable consoles just wasn't there. I've not played Skyward Sword either, Kenny. Um, that's that's one that I, I know Chadley's done recently, I know Potato did recently. I know 
I know it's a great game. I know it's got a great story. I know a lot of awesome stuff with it. The end. GG again. Thanks, guys. Um, looks like all the buttons I do do nothing. Can't skip. Okay. I've heard that. I've heard that, Kenny. Um, so it looks like it definitely does the 64 thing. When you get the game over, you have the game over. Interesting. So... Go back to the Wii menu. Disk channel. I wonder if it did like a, a secret save or something. I doubt it. I doubt it. We'll find out in a second. Kind of sad I didn't get like a time either. So... That's the file, guys. Let's see where it puts us. Ryan Hyrule Castle. All right. So we're going to once more, just to make sure that what we read was correct, we're going to see if we can get into that room. Because you know me, guys. If there's a chance that we didn't do absolutely everything, I'm not going to be able to sleep this morning. Alright, everyone. Thanks for hanging out, Drew. Really appreciate it. Now remember, guys, uh, tomorrow is ARC Sunday Survival. And it'll be uh, on the new... Um, Dangerous server is what we're calling it. And Clarence Bot should be up and operational in a while. Okay, target that. Throw the boomerang. Snuff the candle. Okay. What will... I, I don't know. I don't know yet. Okay. So we defeated the enemies. I'm, I'm not sure. I'll have to give that some thought. Uh, we definitely... Oh. What's this? else the creepy dudes want to tell me? Aww. These are all... This has been probably the coolest thing about this whole entire game, guys. It's just the creepy dead dudes. I don't even know what they're trying to show us here. A 
Like, what is up with that? Is that some sort of secret? It's just that picture. Awesome. Ha. How about that? There was another. Okay. Just had to go in the room. Had to see what else was in here. All right. So we know We know double dark nuts is pretty nasty, but Once we clear this room, we can say we absolutely, without a shadow of a doubt, 100% of this thing. This fight's a little bit, um, it's basically the exact same as the Ganon fight, which... It's a good thing the story and the characters are pretty good in this game. Because... It'd be a little bit lower on my ranking otherwise. Try the fishing pole on him. You know, that's a good idea. Um... Um, he's impervious to fishing pole, guys. <laughs> he is smarter than Ganon. He is not a fisherman. Yep, he, he's not confused by the fishing pole. This is actually kind of worth a shot, though. I still kind of find that funny it worked on him.
Hello, how goes the fight? Sally! We've beat the game, we rolled the credits, we had a room we couldn't get into. Um, we just found out how to get in the room. And now it's all... That's all she wrote. We couldn't leave well enough alone. Alright. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. And guys, that's it. That... Slightly anticlimactic. Um, because we already killed Ganon once. But we will save. That will clock our official time. Plus or minus, you know, the rest of the time. And that will... That will... That will cap the story, guys. Um, Robbie Samo, oh, thank you. So how it happens now. So, Sally, and for anyone who's watching this on replay uh, out there on YouTube World later in their life, uh, what we'll be doing next is... I've got to reassemble pieces of Clarence. Um, whoops. <laughs> Clarence is a little worse for wear. Um, I've been rebuilding a few things for him. But he should be back to being his all happy-go-lucky recommendation self tomorrow. Um, we will give everybody in the Turtle Club a week to get their recommendations in. And then starting next week, we'll start the week of voting. And we'll see what we get into. Um, the, the recommendations database has been cleared out. So you'll that way we don't have a lot of old recommendations, people that are no longer on the Discord and all that. Um, so that will be kind of important for everybody. We'll be making announcements about that on the Discord when he goes live. But we'll have a, a week of new recommendations for people to get their actual recs in to see what's going on. And... Um, and we'll see what we wind up playing. So it'll give us two weeks to kind of get everything together as well. Turtle Club, it's been amazing. I, I have to say that this was this uh, this this boss fight probably not in my top ten favorite boss fights of all time, um, but it was kind of fun. It was fun. The, the game overall was good. I mean, real stylistic. Look at that right there. Look at that right there. Um, so, yeah, and some nice throwbacks to other games. But I definitely want to thank everyone for coming in here today. Victoria, Fruits in Space, DB Master, Andrew Benson, Sue, uh, Relaxing Funny Gaming, who popped in. Definitely, guys, check our content out. I think you guys would enjoy it. Uh, let's see who else all popped in today. Uh, da, da, da. Kenny the Neo Kid. Check his content out also. If you're not uh, looking specifically for family-friendly, Definitely look at his stuff, because I think he's one of the, the best streamers that I get to watch while I'm at work. Um, when I get to work, you know, get to watch. Indigo D, thank you for popping in as well. And Paya, always good to see you. Nicholas Zimmerman, hello again. And um, Sally, sneaking in at the end there. Really thank you all for showing up and saying hello. Uh, this was kind of an interesting buffet. I didn't know how long it was going to take, so we kind of did put a, a time limit on it. We we're just going to the credits. So, guys, I'm uh, going to start working on getting Clarence bought together and getting him in his new home. His, his new home is going to be pretty cool. I, I plan to take a picture of that and let everybody know what that is. Uh, I'm hoping that he will always be up. Um, but, yeah, everyone, uh, yeah, absolutely have a good day. Have a good one. Thanks for watching. We're going to let the last of this little intro play, because this is just an awesome intro sequence with all of the stuff that's going on in the game. I mean, it's, it's a, it is an epic game. It just has some execution issues. Boom. There we go. There we go. And... Here comes the title. Well, I kind of expected the title to pop up. Huh. Very reminiscent of the Ocarina of Time title. foreshadowing there for that final fight we had 
out in the middle of nowhere on a horse. And there's Wolf Link. And yeah, Turtle Club, that is Zelda number four for us in the books. Have a good one. Thanks for watching.